What's up guys, we're back with another price update. Today we're gonna be doing the iPhone 11. So if you are somebody that likes to use iPhones, this is a fantastic phone, especially if you're on a budget and you need something that's powerful. Uh, this is definitely a great option and this phone is just aging really really well so i want to go ahead and talk about it and the first thing i want to talk about is the price update 267 dollars right now on ebay renew refurbished and i think that's a fantastic deal this phone was holding around 350 to 330 so that's a nice price drop i think as we get closer to the iphone uh, 15 that this phone will pretty much easily come down to uh, the $250 mark um, and it's a fantastic phone uh, for the price it was a fantastic phone honestly for that $300 price tag um, so let's go ahead and get into it I think one of the most impressive things about this phone is the overall speed here of this phone the Apple A13 chip uh, paired with the 4 gigs of RAM it still feels really fast even compared to something like uh, the 14 Pro that I've been using uh, still a very fast phone um, so I just don't have any issues with the overall speed and quality of uh, this phone as far as that goes. And also, it's just really, really good chip for gaming as well too, like I said. So if you are gaming on a budget, this phone still pretty much holds up uh, for the most part. And we'll actually go ahead and hop into PUBG here. Now as far as gaming, if you are on a budget, um, this is a fantastic phone for that. We're still able to play... HDR Extreme, you know, all these years later on here, steady 60 frames on here. So it's really, really impressive, uh, the overall gaming quality. And also other heavier games like Genshin, Call of Duty Mobile, um, when they have Fortnite, it works fine on here as well too. But um, it's just a fantastic little gaming device as well too. So if you are on a budget, you don't want to break the bank, uh, this is definitely a great option uh, for gaming. I think the only thing about... Uh, the gaming on here like if you do game for a, a long period of time typically from a hundred percent and again depending on your battery health this is around 80 something um, you probably can get a solid three hours four hours of gaming um, yeah so that's only thing and this phone can get a little bit warm with gaming I've never had it actually crash on me though uh, or I never had it drop frame rates significantly so um, I think it's a pretty decent uh, gaming device. Alright, so the display on this phone. I think that's the only thing about this phone that has aged a little bit. Um, so, this phone, it did not really have a a great display, or at least on paper, right? So, it's got a 6.1 inch display. It's liquid retina IPS display. It's 625 nits peak brightness. And it is a 720p plus display. 326 for the PPI. So when you look at the display, it's fine. The icons and everything still look sharp, even at 720p. Um, you know, the only thing about this phone is that the industry has pretty much moved to OLED panels. Uh, you know, especially for like you can't find a lot of older flagships with the LCD panel. Um, even in 2019, Samsung still had you know the dynamic AMOLED displays and all that good stuff. Um, so it's interesting that Apple went with that. Especially since the 10s had a OLED panel. But the display is still pretty decent for what it is. Like I said, I do prefer the OLED panels. Um, but it's still a pretty nice display. And I think, you know, Apple's not just definitely starting to show its age a little bit. Which is funny because even with the iPhone 13, Apple still has a pretty significant size notch. Uh even on their newest model so I don't think it's that big of a deal especially for people who like to use iPhones you know I think it's just something that you know people have grown accustomed to uh, but the screen on here is fine viewing angles are pretty decent on here and like I said it's nothing too special let's talk about the hardware a little bit I think that's the thing about this phone that has aged uh, really really well I actually prefer the design on the older iPhones as far as like in the hand uh, unlike the boxier, uh, newer iPhones, this one fits in the palm really well and it just feels really, really comfortable uh, to hold since the edges are smooth. That's one thing that I really like about this phone. These sharp, you know, boxier iPhones sort of can leave like a little, you know, mark on your hand. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it and I think it still looks great too. For a phone that came out in 2019, it still kind of looks somewhat on par with the newer iPhones. All you have to do is change the cameras, right? And it'll still look 
you know, pretty new class back. We also have the metal rails on here. Still very nice looking phone here. Volume rockers, mute vibration switch on here. And this is uh, also IP68 dust and water resistant as well too. It also has wireless charging. So design wise, I think it still looks really great, especially uh, from the back here. Also, this phone does, of course, have your Face ID. Face ID still works really well on this phone. And also with the update, you're able to use it like with the mask on and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. I think these speakers on the iPhone 11 have aged really well too. They're still very loud. So you, can, so you can hear this phone still has a really good amount of bass uh, on here as well too, which is pretty sweet. All right, so let's talk about the cameras because I think the cameras have aged really well on here as well too. And I'll go ahead and show you actually the side-by-side uh, -side stills I did with the iPhone 14 Pro. But that's how I like to compare the cameras. Is it what does it look like compared to the newest iPhone? And, you know, you can kind of make that judgment yourself. I think the cameras still look really good. Now, of course, there are things about the newer phones that look better, like the low-light photography. But if you're in good lighting, it seems like the iPhone 11 still pretty much holds up. It's got a 12-megapixel standard and a 12-megapixel ultra-wide. It can shoot in 4K60 with a 12-megapixel selfie cam that also shoots in 4K60. And I think it's very, very good camera still. I think you get pretty good dynamic range, pretty decent detail on here, pretty good color on here and I just think it's fine like the ultra wide is still pretty solid and good lighting I think is really good I think the video is still pretty good on the iPhone 11 as well too I was actually very surprised with the image quality on here but what do you guys think do you guys see a dramatic difference with the image quality also let's go ahead and talk about battery life so the battery life on this phone is pretty decent I'm still at about 87 percent battery health on this phone you can Pretty much get around six hours of screen on time out of this device if you have a higher uh, battery health then you definitely can get that but if you're buying use refurbished typically around 80 something percent um so battery life is pretty decent it's a 3110 milliamp hour battery wire charging which is not that fast and then you also have your wireless charging on here um so battery life is somewhat decent so just to sum it up i think the iphone 11 it's a pretty solid device. I think the highlights on here are definitely, I think image quality in the video is still pretty solid on this device. And then also it has a very strong chipset still. The chip is still pretty fast. You can do gaming on here uh, for relatively cheap. Uh, I think the only downside is that the low base storage of 64 gigs is kind of like, uh, it just it seems like it's not enough for today's standard. Um, and again, I haven't filled this one up because I don't download all this stuff, but if you take a lot of video, stuff like that, you can kind of fill this phone up pretty quickly. Um, and then also the screen. Like I said, it's just not the highest resolution screen. Uh, it's LCD. The industry has pretty much moved to OLED and AMOLED, right? Um, so yeah, so you have those things that haven't aged that well. But other than that, I think it's a pretty solid phone, I think, for the price for less than 300 bucks. Um, I think it's awesome. So let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next.